Hi, let's have a look at the automatic gain control threshold and how it works on a Flex 6000 series radio. It's one of the more powerful receiver tools and something you really need to look at right away after first getting on the air for the first time after finding the VFO and the volume control, hooking up the power and your antenna. So the automatic gain control threshold controls the gain into the spectral capture unit and that's the front end of the radio in the old super hit world but we don't use that anymore because we're into direct sampling where we got rid of all the super hit stuff and made a much quieter receiver so the super, the automatic gain control threshold is in smart sdr and you can find it in a couple of places uh the under the volume control if it's not open uh drop that open and look for this little guy right here uh, you can slide it back and forth. I'm going to just leave it at zero for my example. And uh, there's in another place, way over here too, uh, in the um, window bar here, you'll see it, it is right here. And if I move it up and down, you'll see the other one moves. And by the way, if you happen to lose all these funky controls on the side that you really need, you've probably hit the angel key in the bottom and uh, just to give you more real estate. So just click the angel key in the bottom left and that'll give it all back to you. So how does it sound? Well, we're going to turn on some background noise. Uh, there, we'll get, uh, we're going to tune to an area where there is no signal right now. Of course, in a flex radio, it's easy to see where. And it's something you need to do a couple times a day, maybe as the band conditions change or if you change antennas, or maybe if you even change your antenna preamps, which are over here. Right now it's on 20. The band's pretty quiet, so I've got it up to about 16 dB uh, of antenna gain. Uh, by the way, this control on 168 or 40, uh, you may never want to be higher than zero. So something, do not over crank that gain uh, type of thing. Let's turn the audio on. So right now, believe it or not, the audio is on. We don't hear anything. Well, why is that? Because our AGCT is set to zero. And if we set it all the way to 100, which I'll do right now, well, this ugly background noise well darn that sounds well actually sounds like one of my super hit radios i'll turn it to zero how far so where's the right answer where's the knee where do you want to put that well you're going to crank that and i'll keep quiet until you get a nice increase in noise but not as bad as you were hearing uh we say generally 3 db but have a listen you know what that's a perfect spot and I'm going to be able to hear weak signals as well as loud signals. So we'll just go over and have a little listen to this QSO. I'll have that information. Uh, you would think the director would know a few things about what's going on in his organization. Well, this is only, he's only S5. Now, I'm using a three element 20 meter beam at 40 feet aimed uh, into the central US from Toronto. Let's see if we can find someone else to listen to. So now that we've set our AGCT, we decided it was, in my case today, it's somewhere around 31 or 35, 36. Again, for now, we'll just dial up here. And I uh, kind of always had in the back of my mind, I'd like to get back in radio, get me a cushy DJ job somewhere. But after 30 years of, of uh, being out, getting back in, it had changed so much. Uh, they don't queue up records anymore on, on turntables. And <laughs> so that's how the AGCT works. By the way, if you have a uh, Maestro or an M model radio, reach over or look at the look at the control panel right now and find the volume control for slice A. That's the top left knob, and it's that outer ring. And every time you adjust that AGCT, you'll see the number of the value pop up on your screen. Right. On direct sampling radios, this is not like Superhat. This is one thing you do not do on a direct sampling radio. You do not turn the volume to 100% and then use the gain control as a volume control. That's uh, old school. You uh, do it the other way around. You set the volume control where you want and set the AGCT where it needs to be. And the last thing I want to mention is in digital modes, uh, in the documentation for WSJT, it does say to turn the automatic gain control totally off do not really need to do that on a flex radio and if you look closely if you're running FT8 uh, at the signal strengths you'll see with the AGC set correctly you're going to be able to copy incredibly weak signals 
right beside incredibly strong signals. And so I that's the automatic gain control threshold on a Flex 6000 series radio. It controls the gain on the spectral capture unit, which is the front end of the radio, right where we do the direct sampling of the RF signal and convert it into numbers. 73s, good DX. I'm Mike, VA3MW. Take care.